At some indeterminate place and time in the future, the world as we know it has changed. The houses are empty, the stations are closed, and the streets are deserted. Where there once stood shops and restaurants, empty shells reside. Some contain relics from the past, a broken shelf, an empty packet, a shop sign scrubbed and blurred with time. A thick smog covers everything, making it hard to see clearly. It's almost as if this new land is a hazy recollection, an unrecognizable version of a previous life. The dust accompanying the smog is cloying, turning even the dirt into dirt. There are signs sometimes of things that were called life, words like laughter, sadness, and joy. They are enigmatic, a mystery, a myth in these parts, for in this barren wasteland life cannot prevail. My name is Robert Philip the Robot, R-O-B-O-T. As you can see, it's only me here. I've travelled all over the place and I can't find anyone. I did find this though. So I'm going to make the journey there to find it. I guess I should go in then. this I I I can't believe it in here there's people lots of them don't know what it is but they look amazing they exist they really exist I don't know what they're trying to say they say they might be visiting somewhere this says Victoria Park what's that it's a hot day but not too hot, and there are clouds in the sky, so they provide some shade. I am in Victoria Park and it's the summer holiday. My favourite part is the two giant climbing frames. The strings are black, but the central pole is silver. There are ducks in the lake and I like to sit and watch them. I like all the tall trees, and I really like the one near the park entrance because it's very big and very nice. 
The big fields are filled with people walking their dogs and playing football. I really like the park and everything in it. Wow, hey, this sounds amazing. I wonder what else is in here. I'm Chris Borton Day and I'm strolling down Pench High Street. I stop and see the street art. And then I also get to see the charity shop that I work at. I love working there as I get to meet so many interesting people. Sometimes it's the same people that come in, so I get to know them as well. There's also a really popular Greg's, always with a line outside and a warm pastry smell. It's too tempting to resist. When you get inside, you're greeted with vegan sausage rolls and pork pies. Sausage roll? That sounds delicious! About the school. He likes the fact that the teachers believe in good old-fashioned behaviour and they're very strict. Mr. Lorne believes in behaviour very much so. However, Robert doesn't know that if you're naughty, you get sent on a walk. School? What's that? Yeah, I like the sound of walking though. Might be a robot, but my legs still hurt. This is Elvis Presley, he is a singer. Elvis Presley loves jazz rock, he loves to dance every, every. Presley's record, record, rock and roll. Elvis loves music. I love Elvis Presley because I heard, I heard Ron play one of his songs on my guitar. I hope one day you two can enjoy Elvis's music as much as me. Play the record, I hope, left you and enjoy. Jazz rock! Thank you very much! Uh -huh. Elvis! Never heard anything like this before. There isn't any there isn't anything to listen to here. It's just the sound of dust blowing and things falling apart. People really used to listen to this. Hang on a minute. What what's this? I've heard about these. I heard you put them up your nose. Hmm, no, that can't be right. Maybe. I think <laughs> I'm having what they call fun. I have this funny feeling in my chest, in here. I don't know why, but I feel like all my body is heading towards the floor. I think this is what they call feeling sad or upset. And I wish there were some people to give me a robot cuddle. I wish I could listen to this with them and that they were tall trees for me to see. I even wish I could find out what being naughty is, so that I could go on a long walk with them. Hello, my name is Robert Phillip, the robot, R-O-B-O-T. I like to run down empty streets and kick all the piles of dust so it covers me and tickles my nose. I like to explore the empty shops and houses to find relics from the past that tell me about people. Something I found was this flyer and so I followed the angel on it and it brought me to a building. I thought I'd find people there but I didn't. Well, not in real life anyway. I did find this book though, and so if you're reading this and you're a person, please try to find me. I'm desperate to meet you and I'm lots of F-U-N. <laughs> <laughs>